This is the Halo GT5 earbuds that I've been using for just over a month now and I got a pretty good idea of how they perform. Keeping in mind this retail for as low as $30. So stay tuned because this video is all about the build quality, the sound quality, battery and a lot more. Now Halo reached out to me and asked if I could try these earbuds and of course I said yes because why not. So here is my honest review after a month of using them. Inside the box you get another black box with Halo's branding up top and inside that you get the case with earbuds in them wrapped in a plastic shell. We'll take that off and just before we get to the earbuds let's see what else we get inside the box. Beneath this soft sponge there's another compartment with extra small and large ear tips for that perfect fit if the ones pre-installed don't fit you well. Some manuals and there's also a tiny USB-C to air charging cable which is a nice touch to include on a pair of budget earbuds just like this one. For the price, build quality here is solid. The case is made out of a plastic build with a matte touch finish to it that does a good job hiding smudges and fingerprints. And on the bottom, there's a wireless charging coil which means this earbud supports wireless charging. It's not bulky and for comparison here is a OnePlus Buds case. It's however not the best build out there, nothing special about them other than wireless charging at a price point that's relatively low and something you don't really find on other cheap earbuds. The earbuds themselves are quite small in this bin shape form factor and they are so light at only 3.9 grams. Which is good for comfortability, the last thing you'd want are heavy earbuds in your ears and these earbuds fit perfectly well in my ears. No complaints about that. They however don't have any official IP rating so be careful not to use them in rain or in the shower. Pairing is quite easy with either an Android or an iPhone device thanks to Bluetooth 5.0. You first pop them out of the case and once they start flashing, head over to your Bluetooth connections page and they should pop up right there as Halo GT5. Tap on the name and that will pair them right away, as easy as that. I didn't find any connection issues with these earbuds and that's a good thing to begin with. Moving on to sound quality, these earbuds sound great for the most part. They only support up to AAC audio codec but bass is just enough if not fully enough and one thing I like about them is that they have passive noise isolation made possible by the rubber ear tips and what this means is that when they are securely fit in your ears you won't hear the environment around you as much as you would with other earbuds. For one, this is great for sound quality but might also put a little bit of pressure inside your ear when using them for an extended period of time. But luckily there are circular holes on each earbud to compensate for that. One thing that is an upside and a downside on the other hand though is the touch controls. They activate so easily every time I put them in my ears. My music will stop with just a slight touch to the ear tips which was annoying at first but I got used to it after some time of using them. The touch controls are activated in this region on both earbuds. Click once on either earbuds to play or pause music. Click twice for the previous or the next song on the left or right earbuds respectively. Click twice to either answer or end a call. Click thrice on the left earbud to launch your assistant, Google Assistant in my case here. And click thrice on the right earbud to launch game mode that activates a low latency mode which drops the latency down to 65 milliseconds that comes in handy when gaming but I'd still recommend that you don't use this when playing heavy games like Call of Duty Mobile which heavily rely on lag free inputs but rather use a wired headphone or the more expensive earbuds like AirPods Pro because those handles lag way better than this. But the fact that there is a low latency mode here is a nice touch. There are no volume controls on these earbuds though so you'll have to adjust the volume on your connected device which is a letdown. On the brighter side, they have some sensors in them that pause whatever you're listening to anytime you take them off your ears and resume the playback when you put them back in. I'd say that's kinda smart. Now Halo advertises 4-5 to five hours of battery life with continuous use of these earbuds and 24 hours with the case. I got close to that and even more sometimes so battery life on these earbuds is just good overall and if you're out of battery at any point, toss them back in the case for some time and you have some battery to keep your music going. It takes about 2 hours to get the case from dead to 100% and even longer when using wireless charging so keep that in mind. Now for $30 you're getting a lot here, good sound quality with enough bass in them, USB-C and even wireless charging option backed in that you don't often see on budget earbuds, good battery life, 
This pack a ton of touch controls on the earbuds and all those in a not so big form factor. I'd gladly recommend this to anyone looking for budget earbuds. So check down in the description below for links to the product if you wanna grab one. And thanks again to Heilu for sending this out. This is a wrap for this video guys, I hope you found it helpful. Drop a like to this video if you did enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Anyway, thanks for watching, goodbye and most of all, stay safe.